Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, the more I look at the story, the more I see it. Um, oh my God, it is insane. I want to give a shout out and my condolences to all the folks over in Chicago Highland Park, to be exact, who suffered in this latest mass shooting. That's only in America. Um, this is certainly not how you get it great again. But this story really, really kind of rocked my world. And I'm going to try to let some time pass before I really get into it because um, I may need to say some things that may not be favorable for the algorithms and um i'm trying to make sure that my monetization stays intact uh so y'all bear with me uh if you haven't already please like the video please thumbs up the video or thumbs down the video, which everyone tickles your fancy. <laughs> but the main thing is to stand up and be counted. So it helps the algorithms and it helps YouTube decide what it wants to do with my videos. Okay? So some of y'all have been out here quite a while. Y'all know the routine. But for those of y'all who don't, it don't take a second to like a video or dislike it. I'm just asking for your help. And they will be greatly appreciated. Now let's get on to this story. Now that father of that 4th of July shooter, y'all know what? He the one helped his son buy a farm, firearm just two months after cops took away all his collection of knives when he threatened to kill everyone. Parents released a statement saying, this is a terrible tragedy for many families and our own. No, you should say we are responsible for this tragedy for these many families. That's what you should be saying right now. Because what kind of freaking idiot? The, the boy is already growing, built a, a house in the backyard on your uh, premise. With a soldier on the wall with a AK-47, and you in denial about your your young person that they got mental problems until they do something like this, and now you guys tell nerve talking about you the tragedy for your own family. Well, hell, your own family should have been the only one affected, not the many innocent people that were just out there to watch the fireworks and had to be confronted. By your sick ass son. That you bought the gun for. Bobby Cremo is facing seven counts of first degree murder. Following the 4th of July uh, parade shooting. Cremo's parents Bob Jr. and Denise said in a statement that. The shooting was a terrible tragedy for many families. A lawyer representing the family said that if Cremo's parents noticed any red flags, they would have notified authorities because they're responsible parents. Well, each of the charges against Cremo carries a maximum of a life sentence in prison without the chance of parole. Um... Y'all knew he was struggling. How did the police come in and get his knife collection? <laughs> he talking about he wanted to kill somebody. I don't think you've done enough. In announcing the charges, Lake County Attorney William Weinhardt said that there could be a dozen more charges laid against Cremo. Cremo was quizzed by police in April 19th and again in September 19th. In April, his family called the police a week after he threatened to kill himself. In September, he threatened to kill everyone 
and cops confiscated 16 knives, a dagger, and a sword from him. Now, what kind of madness is that? You know your son should have been on the 5150. And if you didn't know, let me tell you, he should have been. You probably could have prevented a lot of lives. People could have been spared. They took his knives so you go out and buy him an AK-47. What kind of sense does that make? Look, let me get off of here because I'm already pissed. I, I'm getting my blood pressure and I got to keep it down. All right. Let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next video.